one man with a gun can control a hundred without one said Vladimir Lenin born on 22nd April 1870 in Russia died on 21st January 1924 in Russia better known as Vladimir Lenin was a Russian revolutionary politician and political theorist he served as the first and founding head of government of Soviet Russia from 1917 to 1924 and of the Soviet Union from 1922 to 1924. The art of controlling hundreds and thousands <laughs> came from Lenin. Vladimir Lenin said, one man with a gun can control, then one man with a gun can control a hundred without one. So what the socialist countries have done it, what the capitalist countries and the democratic countries have done it, is to arm the people who are supporting the ruling party, in the name of police, in the name of military, but they remove the power from the people. And then when people do not have any arms, they become the power, they become the leader to suppress power corrupts absolute power corrupts absolutely one man with a gun can control a hundred and they, they were the people who were the real disciples of Lenin the, the present political mainstream the present political religious leaders and the present managing directors chairmen of companies they held on to the money and never gave the people the money. Can you believe the companies, the factories, without giving people money, they made them work for one month and then give them the money. Squeeze them out, make them beg, make them a nobody on their talent. And then give them a small, begged money. This is the way they have destroyed the whole world and they are not knowing the managing directors and chairmen are not knowing by the time they by, by the way they are destroying the people they got their own house got destroyed their own children got destroyed political leaders can you believe the political leaders they held on to the money massive money massive money they're holding on and everybody knew they are holding on massive amount of money people's money and they did not give to the people. They asked them to go to the ration shop, stand in a queue, beg for the dirty rice and for the other things. But not the money. The, the moment the money is in the hand of the people, they know they cannot become leaders. One man with a gun can control hundred without one. I remember even to connect the radio or the television we have to call the electricity board people to come and connect it up we are not supposed to touch it that was a day now you know you can control everything and you can run you can remove the battery you can put it back you don't have to depend on them they did the same thing by removing the money from the people's hands and people didn't have money they started suffering and that's what, what the doctors have done at this. Doctors can tell them why they felt sick. They could have discussed when the head of the family was not discussing, doctors understood. That is the best way. Don't discuss. But they, doctors forgot. The art is going to get destroyed. Like what happened with the joint family and the family tree. When the head of the family refused to sit, not once in a year I'm talking. I'm talking about every day the head of the family have to sit and discuss. Every day. When that did not happen, it broke into pieces. And the medical hospitals, massive big hospitals, they are the highness of the People who makes money by squeezing people's money and then people are taken in, in a, like guinea pigs into the factories and companies in big law in uh, huge lots political leaders understood if they can go to the government big lots I can keep the money in my pocket but without giving them hundreds and thousands will walk into my 
place to hear my speeches. Yes. I am shocked to see Lenin has created such a huge amount of disciples in the name of political leaders, in the name of doctors, in the name of company heads. Can you believe? Doctors refuse to tell the secret of their medicine. It's not their father's property. When they have not discussed it up, they just go. They sit like an emperor. The doctors, yes, they suddenly decided that they are the uh, real gods at present because they know the companies have already created, made them a nobility. They all have studied in the name of education. Education has made them a nobility because when you have education, when you study by heart and you are not get connected with your family, when, when you study by heart and we don't have love, then you become a slave. When you study by heart and you have, have love, love comes only from connecting to your family, to your joint family, the family tree, then you can see it, you have no disease at all, you don't go to the hospital. So the companies have disconnected them from the uh, connection of the family. They did not give them chance to go back to the family. When they didn't go back to the wouldn't go back to the family, where do they go? They go to the hospitals. They fall sick very fast. And all the money what the companies give them as salaries will be taken by the hospitals run by the same companies. One man with a gun can control a hundred without one. So one man, one company head having the gun. Gun means the power of the money. Gun rolls hundreds and thousands, hundreds and thousands. Political leaders learn from them. They learn from them, yes. And that's how the society has become a nobody. Now you have to find out how to arm yourself. The only way to arm, not arm, arm yourself. To have the same amount of money, not the gun you are talking. Same amount of money is, you just have to go back. People will be thinking there will be a way of money. Out of controlling hundreds, yes. The how, how to control hundreds? There is nothing. The hundreds are always with you. Not hundreds, actually the thousands are with you. You forgot to look into that. Just go back to your family. Without dividing, just love your wife and your children. Love your husband and your children. From there, once you understood the love, love will open the gates. You don't have to open the gates to connect you to your, not to your friends, not to your companies, not to the multi-complexes, not for sightseeing picnic places. It will open the gates to the joint family. And the giant, that joint family will have one of the best food which you have never ever eaten, varieties of food. That joint family will have the best medicine, which you don't find in any hospitals. It is called gilly gilly medicine, it's called gilly gilly food, yes. The love, that gates will open to your connecting to your family tree and you don't have to think how to control hundreds. You are inside that hundreds and thousands of family members, 800,000 are in one joint family, in one family tree. Are they not? Your followers, they are not only your followers, your lovers. And then without you thinking of controlling, any, any word said by you is accepted because they know everything coming out is from real experience of love. Vladimir Lenin said, one man with a gun can control a hundred without one. That's, they have done it. Now you have to reverse it up. Only then we will have peace in this world. Only then we can do dhyana. Only then we can call ourselves having our samskriti. Only then we can call ourselves as human beings. Till then we are just a machine, a robot made by those people. Don't allow them to trick. Save and then spend. Come back from your company. Be with your family. Same amount of time you spend with your company. Same amount of time spend with your family. Together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. And together we can wipe out a lot of diseases. Hospitals can be shut down to convert into gymnasiums.